For me, it's, it's intimate. I don't feel the global thing so much. I, it's intimate. I, like, I still think of, for instance, with Fresh Prince, we all were together having a great time trying to really make something work, but also having such a good time and being having great partners that you're playing with so that we were always, you toss the ball, somebody caught it right away. You know, it's very, very uh, few instances of the ball dropping. And, you know, you knew you could rely on these partners. We were a really good chain, worked well together, but it felt intimate. Like, like we were there doing it. And then on Friday, this, you know, live audience came in and we were just doing, it was like we were doing a play for those people. It didn't feel like it was going out and being broadcast into the rest of the country, let alone the world, let alone decades later, you know, that it would keep going and going and going. It didn't feel like any of that was happening. It felt far more intimate, thank goodness, because I think it would have felt, if it was so, you felt how gargantuan it was, it would have been intimidating probably, you know? It also probably would have lost some of its um, truth. Like we were, we were having honest reactions to things and we were very fortunate. We had writers that, um, that really listened and wanted to hear our feedback. So when we would go through the script and put it up on its feet and things didn't feel right, they wanted to hear, what did you think? And we say, yeah, this scene, it doesn't feel right me talking to Will about this. I feel like I should be talking to my mom about this. It just, just feels so kind of forced and, you know, or you'd have something physical that you'd have to do. And it just felt like, I feel like I'm kind of a dance hall girl waiting in a lineup. Like we gotta, and why am I just standing here? You know, you, we'd always figure it out so that we'd, they would make their adjustments. We'd make our adjustments and the director would work with us. And we'd all make sure that it was, as true and organic as possible. Um, and they wanted to hear from us, which was nice. But it, that's, that was all that process and all of us working together was what we were doing. We were being true to the piece. We weren't thinking about the global. We weren't thinking about the fact that people so many miles away were all, ha were all having this experience uh, or would be. You know, when I first heard that people, somebody said, I came back from France and I heard you in French. And I was like, what? <laughs> Somebody's doing my voice and, you know, and speaking French over, what? You know, I mean, that, I remember when I first heard that, it freaked me out because I just hadn't thought about it. You know, I knew we had gone past the U.S. I knew we weren't just in the U.S., but I hadn't thought about that. What goes into that and the translation and that, and that in all these other countries, people were getting the jokes. They were all getting the jokes. It, you know, I didn't realize even many years later, I've had a hard time, it's, ha it's been hard for me to really grasp how big the show was. And the thing that finally hit me over the head, and I was like, okay, I get it, the show was a big deal, was when Jimmy Fallon did the, um, the Olympics, he like opened the Olympics or something, doing Neil Young, his impersonation of Neil Young, singing the Fresh Prince theme as Neil Young, the way Neil Young would sing it at the Olympics and everyone got the joke. I was like, wait a minute, if you can, I mean, just singing the song is one thing for everybody to know the song, but to do it as Neil Young in his, you know, and everyone got it, I thought, okay, all right, that's, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty worldwide.